Well, you can see my candles are sweet. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me and see me. This is Burge with uh, Bubble Talk with Burge uh, doing my Facebook live streaming. And I'm assuming that all of you can see me and hear me. And I'd love for you to check me out and uh, like me and share this and definitely uh, start the process of sharing all of these really cool things I'm going to be sharing with you guys all. Hello, Lisa. Hi. I don't know what's going on with my craziness here, but uh, my, um, my internet connection is funky at this point, so I won't be doing it here anymore, but hello. I just finished Essence of Being. Uh, hi, Debbie. I just finished. Hi, Kenneth. I just finished Essence of Being uh, in Fort Lauderdale. I just flew in Wednesday evening. We had a fabulous graduation. Um, and hi, Anna. And it was really powerful and awesome. And the beautiful people we met from Italy that came in to uh, play with us and New York and all around the country came in. And we're doing another Essence of Being uh, this next weekend. Not this weekend, but next weekend. In Okay, let me try it again. Let me see if this works. Uh, oh my goodness. So, let's turn on these other lights. Let's see if the internet connection works better in here. So, sorry about this. Don't you love technology? Technology, love, 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 love technology. Okay, so I just wanted to start my series and hopefully it'll stay. Hi, Jonathan. Uh, the next workshop we're doing, Essence of Being, is in Atlanta next weekend, the 16th, 17th, and 18th. So come join us then. Uh, just, like I said, just got through doing one in Florida, and it was awesome. I have people coming in from London and people from uh, all over the country coming into the Atlanta workshop. So I invite you. I've got people coming in from California and New York. So meet all these people. Come and play with us in Atlanta. Now, that's next weekend. So if you'd like this, if I can keep it working <laughs> long enough. Oh my goodness. I love technology. T technology is so, so powerful and it loves and supports me. So come play with us in Essence of Being. Now, what I'm going to be doing this series is Bubble Talk with Birch. And every week and probably twice a week, I'm going to be on live with you, and uh, if you have questions or if you have anything that you want to talk to me about, uh, I'll be here. Um, I'm going to be talking about your subconscious beliefs, and uh, Bubble Talk, just so for those of you who don't know, Bubble Talk is, Bubble Talk is the unconscious thoughts that keep you from getting what you want. In other words, you ever see those bubbles above your head? And the bubbles above your head um, is what you're thinking. And sometimes you say things, but you think others, right? So these are the subconscious or unconscious beliefs or blocks or thoughts that keep you from getting what you want. So how many of you out there do affirmations? How many? Affirmations are little lies you tell yourself until they become true. <laughs> but seriously, affirmations are those things that you want to that you're choosing to create for yourself, right? You're affirming what you want and what your desires are and what you're becoming and who you are. So a lot of times when people do affirmations, what happens is they end up not achieving exactly what they want exactly when they want it. I know many of you have felt that before. It's like, this isn't working. So oftentimes the reason why is because you're your conscious thought and your subconscious thought are not aligned. So your bubble talk is that subconscious or unconscious belief or thought that blocks you from getting what you want. Hi, Kathy. So here's the thing that happens. Uh, if your conscious and your subconscious are aligned, then you're able to create things a lot easier. So that's what bubble talk in, in essence is. And bubble talk technology is what I use in the essence of being and what I've created is how to get to that subconscious belief so that you can do something. So what I'd like to do is um, just explain to you about what we're doing with the gas and the brake. So let's say that you're driving your car and you're driving your car and then all of a sudden you are putting your gas on. 
and you put your gas on and you put your brake on at the same time, what happens? So if you put your brake on and your gas on at the same time while you're driving, you spin your wheels and nothing happens. Hi, Kevin. So what happens is when your conscious thought is your desire, your conscious thought is your desire, your unconscious or con um, subconscious thought is your resistance or your brake. So let's say that you really, really want something. So that's why you put your gas on. But at the same time, you have resistance to it, or there's a subconscious block that you don't even know is there, and it's stopping you. So what ends up happening is most people let go of their gas. They let go of their gas. So what that means is they let go of their desire. They let go of things that they really want. Everybody knows how to settle. Have you ever done that in your life? Just kind of said, well, it's not meant to be. I'll just wait another lifetime, or... Maybe I'm just not able to get what I want this time. So people just let go of their desire. They let go of what they want. So what I'm offering you is a way to let go of the resistance or the break instead of the gas or the desire. So how you do that is you look at your subconscious beliefs and your unconscious beliefs. And that is what we do in all of the programs that I've done all around the world for 25 years now. Can you believe it? It's 25 years essence of being. And so what I've done for the, all these years is really help children, adults, parents, companies, all of them find out what is that subconscious belief that blocks them, that keeps them from getting what they want in their life, their prosperity, their, their, their money, their relationship, their love, their love of self their purpose in life. What's next? So one of the things that I created are these Essence of Being um, cards. And I call them Oracle cards, or Essence of Being Oracle cards. Basically, they are uh, sayings and thoughts and uh, messages that you pull every day uh, to get your message for the day to help you uncover maybe some of those subconscious beliefs. So I would love for all of you to come and experience Essence of Being, clearly. However, um, if you're not able to come yet to experience that, our Essence of uh, Relationships, our Essence of uh, Abundance, or any of those kinds of things, you can come and uh, do these things with me online, like right now. I have a lot of online courses you can do, but these these cards are pretty cool. So my plan is for this series, I'm going to be doing uh, Facebook Live probably twice a week. And I plan on doing them on Tuesdays and Fridays. However, uh, when I have a workshop like I will next weekend uh, in Atlanta, I will not be able to do them on a Friday. So just stay tuned and I'll be on there. And certainly you can go to essenceofbeing.com and see our podcasts, see our, um, see my, um, the iTunes, we have a podcast, you can see the blogs, you can go on and we have a lot of archived cool stuff. You can also join our membership site for free and you get a lot of archived things and also uh, worksheets and play sheets. I like to say play shops because I don't like to work, so I, I, I invite you to come to our play shops, right? So you can go on essenceofbeing.com anytime and look at any of this stuff. Now, what I'm going to do starting today is I am pulling a card. So I have no idea which ones I'm going to pull. So there's a bunch of them here, right? So these are, again, messages. Now, if you believe in magic, yay, hopefully you do. If not, that's okay too. But I have infused these cards so that... You get to pull the perfect card each day or your perfect message that that would be really powerful for you to look at on a conscious level. So you can pull one of these each day, right? So on these on this particular um, Facebook Live series, I'm going to look at a card and just basically pull it for all of us together. So whoever's on this call and whoever's on this Facebook right now watching, yay. Just look, and uh, I'm going to pull a card, and we will look at it together to see what it says, and then I'll just speak on what it means. 
and perhaps something for you to think about today and also today for next for this weekend maybe this is a good thing for you to kind of focus on for the weekend okay so I'm going to shuffle them up so I'm going to do it like a group think okay Jonathan says come to Houston oh I would love to come to Houston hon I'm all over the place though uh, I'll be going to Europe and Africa and I got back from Asia a couple years ago so um, all over the U.S. So I haven't gotten to Houston yet. So come to Atlanta next weekend. All right. So here we go. Let me just pull a card and let's see what happens. Okay. And this is the card we pulled. Trust and embrace the dance. Trust and embrace the dance. Boy, what a card for me today. And just, just understand or just kind of believe into or think into or imagine into what does this mean what does this mean trust and embrace the dance this is perfect for me today I've had a really interesting day today like I said I got in really late Wednesday night for my graduation from our Florida e essence of being class and went straight into an empowerment series and a mastery mind series that I'm uh, conducting and yesterday was a a, a crazy day and now we're getting ready for the next one in essence of being next week in Atlanta and I've had some um, things about trust come up for me so I don't know about you but let me read it for you and then let's talk about this so trust and embrace the dance maybe this message brings something to you are you ready okay life itself is a dance a dance between you and great spirit a dance between yourself and all other living beings hi Lynn Rose hello my friend love it love to see you and by but by the way you guys when you come on and I say hi just say hi and comment below on my Facebook feed and also um, share it and like like our essence of being site uh, on Facebook too but this is about trust and embrace the dance a dance between yourself and all the other living beings Sometimes you'll lead, sometimes you'll follow, and sometimes you'll get your toes stepped on. So by remembering to trust the dance of life, you become one with it. In this way, you are lifted and supported by the universe. Now when I say universe, I mean whatever energy you want to call it, great spirit or God or energy or um, universe I usually call it that way uh, just because that's what I um, uh, call it basically is that energy it can be God or whatever your uh, faith leads you to call that but just to know that you're not alone is really important and for many of us we need a faith lift <laughs> a faith lift and I'm not uh, lisping so a yeah, faith lift is something where sometimes we lose faith in humanity in each other, in ourselves, in the universe. And so trust and embrace the dance to me, what that means is that no matter what's happening in your life, if you allow yourself to just know that you're in a dance, that you're in a dance with yourself and others, that you're in a dance with the world, that you're in a dance with great spirit or the universe or God, and that sometimes, like I said, you get your toes stepped on. So trust and embrace the dance for me is embrace everything. Embrace light. Embrace the dark. Embrace all of the things that are happening that you're creating in your life. Because you have the ability to create what you want. You also have the ability to create what you don't want. So a lot of times what I have found in the last 36 years that I've been doing this kind of work is that people try to, they own all the good stuff, but not so much the bad stuff. They don't want to own that part. And Larry, hi Larry, everything is in the way, not in the way. I'm not sure what that means, but okay. Um, okay. So, hi Larry. <laughs> He's a graduate. So the, my point is that a lot of times things happen to us that we don't want to take credit for because they don't feel good. So when I say take credit for it, I'm talking about owning it and saying I'm the creator of my destiny that if something is coming up for you to look at that you don't like that's okay look at it it's coming up for you to heal it it's coming up for you to move through it it's coming up for you to break through so you can break free 
So if you are blaming other people or blaming other things in your life for the way it is, then basically you're giving your power away. You're saying, hey, I don't have any control over that. I'm a big victim. And oftentimes when you are in that space of really just saying, I can't do anything about it, then it doesn't feel very good, does it? And it wastes time for me in, in your business, in your relationship, in your life. It can waste time if you keep blaming other people. Hi, Larry. Much love, honey. I meant on the way, not in the way. So my point is, once you are, once you are taking responsibility for your thoughts, your beliefs, and your actions, then it's a freedom. It's a way that you can say, you know what? Yes, I did. I did co-create that issue in my life. And I will trust and embrace the dance. That sometimes I, my toes get stepped on so I can be redirected another way. Sometimes things happen for me that I'm not even aware of. They're happening in my interest for the best interest that I have. I just don't know it yet. Have you ever thought of something? Have you ever had something happen? You go, wow, I'm glad that happened. Because if that hadn't happened, then something else would have happened instead. So while you're going through it, you feel like maybe it doesn't feel so good. So oftentimes what happens is people will go in there and they will say all these things about, I really hate it when this happens and I don't feel good and I didn't create this and oh my God, what am I going to do about it? So... If you embrace the dance, if you embrace the fact that you're bringing this stuff up for you to really look at and take responsibility for, meaning your ability to respond determines the quality of your life. The ability to respond instead of react determines the quality of your life. So many people want to go into shame about their stuff or they want to blame about their stuff. Either way, what you're doing is you are actually giving your power away when you do that and you, there's no way you can change things. So this Trust and Embrace the Dance card that I pulled from My Essence of Being deck is a really powerful reminder that we are all in a dance together and sometimes we're in the flow and sometimes we're not. Hi Nicole, thank you for last week's Essence of Being. Yes, you're welcome, my pleasure, my dear. And I look forward to playing with all of you at an, at an Essence of Being or any of my other play shops that I do around the world. So I hope that this Essence of Being, these cards come in handy for you. You can go to EssenceofBeing.com and you can click on Products and get your very own um, cards. Uh, you can also check around and see the different uh, membership sites and things that you can join for free. And the other thing is that I do is if, tell you what I'm going to do for you guys since this is my first Facebook live streaming event for um, Bubble Talk with Burge. I'm also going to give you a, a, a little gift. Yay! So it's a if you just text 96000, 96,000, 96,000, hi Ash, 96,000. Um, and you put in the message, Burge, B-U-R-G-E, uh, then if you do that, then what will happen is you will get four free videos on how to create wealth. Yay. And these four free videos are for you. Just the two of them are uh, introductions and the other two are instructional. So I really invite you to text 96000. And then put in the message, Burge, B-U-R-G-E. And I'm just learning how to do all these tagging and everything from Facebook Live. So this is all kind of newish to me. I've been on other people's feeds and other people's uh, Facebook Lives. But uh, I plan on doing this, like I said, twice a week. So I hope that you join me twice a week. It'll be Tuesday and Fridays, I believe, is what I'm going to be doing them. And I'm, tr I'm going to be trying different times to see who all is on. Uh, at that moment to see who I can bring in uh, for when I pull a card. So I'm planning on pulling a card every time. So there are 44 cards in the deck. So you know you got 44 more to go. Yay! Or 43. Because this is the first one that I pulled today. Now, interestingly enough, when people pull these cards, 
they pull the same cards like three times in a row. So um, that's because, hello, welcome, you know, open up your mind and your heart and listen to what the universe is trying to tell us, right? Sometimes we're pretty stubborn. So the biggest piece around trust and embrace the dance is, again, taking responsibility for your thoughts, your beliefs, and your actions. That way, you can change it. You have the ability to change anything in your life. You have the freedom to respond in a way that is in your best interest. Instead of giving your power away and saying, it's my fault, which is a shame-based statement, or saying it's your fault, which is a blaming statement, which means you're a victim, or you can be. You have that victim consciousness about, you, there's nothing you can do, I'm stuck. The other thing that we do is we make excuses. And when you justify or make excuses for the way you are, it also doesn't move anything. You stay the same. Remember I told you at the very beginning of this, of this talk that your gas and your brake at the same time, you get stuck. You don't go anywhere. So I implore you, I invite you to let go of the brake. Let go of your resistance. Let go of those unconscious or subconscious bubble talk, those beliefs that keep blocking you from really getting what you want. And I just saw a video or someone sent me a video with Will Smith in it about the difference. I thought that was kind of cool because this is what we've been teaching forever. The difference between fault and responsibility. So it's a really cool video to, to, uh, to watch, but the whole idea of this is not to shame yourself, but to empower yourself to make a change. And anything that is below the line is what I call it, below the line. Anything below the line where you shame yourself or you feel guilty or you blame other people or you make excuses, nothing really changes. Hi, Mila. So the point is, you are powerful, and if you go above the line and take responsibility for your thoughts, your beliefs, and your actions, then things can change. It's a freedom. For some people, the word responsibility is, oh, it's heavy, it's heavy responsibility. It's not about that. It's really freeing because you're not taking responsibility for other people. You're not taking responsibility for the situation from anybody else's point of view, but you are being able to take responsibility for your own thoughts, your own beliefs, and your own actions. And that's how you can, my friends, trust and embrace the dance. And Nicole says a surrender is a process she's working through. I get that. Yes, surrendering, allowing yourself to trust. For many of us, we've been betrayed where we've trusted other people or we've trusted God or the universe. We've trusted ourselves and a lot of times we have been betrayed and sometimes it can hurt and we feel like we can't trust anymore. So I invite you to really this weekend, keep this in the forefront of your mind, trust and embrace the dance. We are in a dance. And so, my friends, again, go to EssenceOfBeing.com, join our membership site, it's awesome, the Healing Forest membership site, text 96000, 96000, put your message in, Burge, B-U-R-G-E, and you're going to get four free videos, and I will be back on the air again for our next pull of our cards, like, what could it be, what could it be, I don't know. But be with me on Tuesday, and I'll do it again. And um, until then, one of my taglines that I love for Essence of Being in the last 25 years has been, what you focus on expands. And until then, focus on trusting and embracing the dance. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.